So here we're going to try to convert degrees, minutes, and seconds into a decimal in degrees. Um, the first part is really easy, and I'm going to look at this in these parts like this. This is how I'm going to break this up. I'm going to look at this piece right here. Then I'm going to look at this piece secondly, and this is my third piece. And it's going to come out looking like this, I hope. Like this, I hope. I know that we get the 50 degrees, and that's that's good. So we got the first part taken care of. The second part is six minutes. Six minutes, right? There are 16 minutes in a degree. So we get, and we have six of them. So we have six times one over 60, which is equal to one tenth, isn't it? So we have 50 degrees plus 0.1, right? Minutes. Plus, we have this 21 seconds here. So 21 seconds is 21 times minutes times seconds. So when we do that math out, we get something like this. We get 0 0.0. This is calculator math, I admit it, but just wanted to show you where I got it, 0.58. I'm just going to add these pieces together. So I have 50, 0.1, that's this 0.1 right here. Remember, this one right here is in this, goes in this place right here. So 0 .00, I'm uh, sorry, 0 .058 degrees. So I hope that's helpful. This stuff can really be done. And if anybody asks you why you would do this, the reason that you would break this into this measure, that wasn't really a dog. <laughs> the reason that you break this into this measure is to be more accurate. And if you think about like global positioning systems and, uh, and rescue and recovery uh, by, the, by the Coast Guard, especially when they're out at sea trying to recover a pilot or something, they need really good coordinates. So this is a way to really point yourself in a very, very specific way. So look, I hope this was helpful. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks. Your comments are always welcome.